let's just sit back and see how this uh, very first reptile show on the internet goes. And then after I show you guys these animals, I'll tell you uh, what I think about the show compared to a real reptile show. In a real I've been wasting my time. I don't know why I can't get you out of my mind. Oh, aloha, friends and family. It's early. I don't know what it looks like on the screen right now, but it's uh, about five in the morning or so, trying to get ready for the first virtual reptile show ever. I'm annoyed, I'm very annoyed. I'm trying to stream from my nice streaming setup that I usually do, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I know it's, it's right before the show. I mean, didn't you try and figure it out before? Yeah, I tried to figure it out on Wednesday. I tried to figure this out again on Friday with Tom, unsuccessfully both times and he's like well just just wait till Saturday morning we'll try to get it working then and I'm like Saturday morning like right before the show okay here we here we go I got I got cold packs from my laptop I like to give people watching a high quality live stream experience I, I I'm not a novice at live streaming I do live streams often with all this DSLR set of microphones so the viewers get the best quality possible and uh, it's not working still. And I, did I say it was five? I think it was five when I started trying. Um, I think the show starts in, what time is it right now? Yeah, the show starts in less than an hour. And here I am a square one. It's very annoying. If it was me, I would make sure I'd have all this figured out well before the show is supposed to go live, not like an hour before. <sighs> I've been Looks like I might have to, looks like I might have to stream from my phone possibly, which is a real bummer because I've spent hours trying to work on getting this working right so I can give everybody a high quality stream. Oh my god, dude. I'm, I was gonna vlog on, on this, which I've started on, and I guess you guys will get the high quality, but then I won't be able to I can't <laughs> Fans already kicking on and I've I've just barely gotten started. I'm gonna be doing this for three hours. Those ice packs are gonna come in big handy. You don't wanna be running that fan so high. Here's the thing, like if I'm having this much trouble with it, I, I can't imagine somebody who has no idea what they're doing with, with tech stuff, like a, the guy that's trying to just do a reptile show and he doesn't know anything about this uh, you know, streaming and, and whatnot and they're trying to figure, I feel real bad for those guys. And I also feel bad for myself. You know, I'm here to try and sell some animals and do a nice presentation for people and if I have to, do it for my phone, it's just not my brand. It's not my brand to do it for my phone. It's my brand to have high quality imagery for people to view and watch. So. <sighs> and now it's working. <laughs> it seems to be at least. <laughs> Hold on, I'll check back with you guys one second. Well, the chat hasn't started yet, but the video seems to have about a, a 30 to 45 second delay, which is not a huge deal. That's one thing, I mean, this is the first one. Again, there's, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad that I'm actually streaming right now. It'd be nice to see uh, a less of a delay so that when you're chatting with people coming in the room, you know, I mean, maybe I'm asking for too much being from, from the very first stream. But uh, one other thing is that when you come into the vendor table, you actually have to press play on the video. So that's one thing that uh, I think that if you just, as soon as you go to the table, it should just be the live video. You shouldn't have to click play on the video once you've gotten to the thing. I'm just taking notes, just trying to make this uh, the best experience possible. It's the first one. We want it to be better and better going forward. Oh man. Yes, 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 there it is. That's me on the website right there. Frozen in time. Oh, look, if I hit the little play button, I guess you actually have to hit play. And then boom, there I am. That's me, look, that's me being frustrated just a second ago. So there's gonna be a little bit of delay, but I am live on the website through this stuff that I wanted to, you know, get a nice tight shot, nice little show off the snake that I'm trying to sell to people and just animals that I'm doing educational stuff with, you know, I'm gonna bring out Roxanne, I'm gonna bring out all kinds of animals today and I really, really wanted to capture them with these. And so now I'm I'm very happy that that seems to be exactly what's actually gonna happen. I am, it's a good, it's good. Thank you guys for being with me while I freaked out about it, but let's just sit back and see how this uh, very first reptile show on the internet goes. Chilling, I'm chilling now. Man, this morning started off rough, but I am chilling now. Oh, 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 yeah. The show's over. I'm happy to report that it went off a lot better than it started with, with my frustration. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I actually ended up selling two of the whopping three animals I had available, thanks to the show. So that was good. Um, 
I didn't, I was thinking about trying to vlog while I was streaming, but trying to run the computer, the multiple cameras, uh, talking with people in the chat, which the chat had about a 30 to 45 second delay, which we were expecting going in. But that is the one thing that I, I hope to see fixed once this is all said and done. Is it a, less of a delay between the chat and the video so that you're not answering people and they're getting their answer like, you know, 45 seconds to a minute later after they ask. But I'd say for the first day, it was pretty good. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys a lot of the animals and talk about some of the things that I covered during the three hour stream. But let me read you a message from Tom. He said, uh, thank you for joining us today. We, once we had some significant traffic on the site, we identified a lot of the problems and now know where to make improvements moving forward. Sold uh, 295 tickets, which represents somewhere over 600 people in attendance. Um, everyone who attended today will receive a free admission to the next show, plus a guest pass. Uh, so if you know somebody who was there, they may, may be able to get you in on a guest pass. Not too shabby, man, but let me show you guys some of the cool animals I showed off. And then after I show you guys these animals, I'll tell you uh, what I think about the show compared to a real reptile show in real person, real life. But this is a sunset. I mean, just a stunning example of a snake. Indigo snakes are just so incredible. And this guy with the red phase, I was on the fence about getting a black tail Kribo versus an indigo snake. And when I saw this guy and the fact that he has those eye stripes that you can see, kind of like you do on a on a um, black tail Kribo, you get those eye stripes up on the face. It was like the best of both worlds to have an indigo snake and get those little eye stripes that were so very, very attractive to me. This is the one animal that didn't sell today, and this is a, the pastel, I've showed this guy before actually, is the pastel uh, clown, 100% het pied male. And I don't know why, what it is, uh, you know, I could put him on Morph Market and I've just been avoiding Morph Market, not because I don't think it's a good site, I think it's actually the best site for selling snakes out there today. Uh, it's definitely done really well. I just, I'm really particular sometimes. I, I don't really like getting random people coming up and wanting to get the, the animals from me. I kind of rather have to go to people that are familiar with me so they kind of know what my expectations are from anybody who's going to be getting one of my snakes. It's just uh, just how I, how I feel about it. But So that being said, if one of you guys watching this video wants this guy, reach out to me, make me an offer. It, it me means more to me to, that the snake goes to a, a good home that I can count on than getting the absolute top asking do price dollar for him. So, uh, somebody, somebody's still interested in this dude, reach out. I mean, he is a powerhouse. He can make clown pie projects. I mean, pff, it's an amazing project. But anyway, I'm just, uh, I'm a horrible salesman. Oh my gosh, I just realized I forgot to hit record on this microphone. So I'm, that's, that's why we got backup. But you're going to notice right now it's going to switch from sounding like that to sounding like this. And I think sounding like this is where we want to be. This is one of the animals that we did actually sell today. And this was a female het pied. And one of the things we were talking about on the stream was about pied markers and what they looked like and how they existed. So I figured I should show you guys too, since we're here. And you can see right there underneath the belly, you got that tracking on either side of the belly. You got white right down the middle of the belly, and then you got the black tracks on either side. Whereas a, a normal ball python has the black and it kind of crosses all across the belly kind of randomly, uh, kind of speckly kind of stuff. But with this animal right here, those pied markers are apparent. Well, you got the, the black again running down on either side of the belly, making that kind of railroad tracking look that het pieds are known for. So. There you go. Uh, please keep in mind that I've had a very minimal amount of sleep to wake ratio. And then after the stream, we actually had family Zoom bingo time. So I feel like I've been talking to a camera all day long. It's not a feeling, it's actually reality. And why am I holding them sideways? This is another one of the animals we showed off. And this is Jerry, our African bullfrog or pixie frog. Look at that guy. I, every time I look at him on camera, I don't, I don't handle him often because I don't really like to handle frogs excessively then you know with the, the porous nature of their skin so i just make sure my hands are really clean before i go and pick them up but for some reason dude i, I feel like this is one of the most if maybe like the number one most photogenic animal that we have here at triple b and here's stevie our little box turtle we we featured her on the stream for a little bit stevie has been inside the snake room since uh, for the winter time she probably would have been okay out there, but there's some nights where it gets down into like the 20s. And, you know, if she was outside, she probably would have burrowed down in a little spot and been fine and just kind of went into a brumation or whatever turtles do <laughs> for the winter time. But I was just really nervous about having her outside, just knowing how really cold it can get up here in our little microclimate spot. And so I, I've had her inside, but she's getting ready to go outside now that's uh, springtime and and yeah, she was she was on the stream, so I figured I should share her with you guys here too on the channel. And oh, 
Look at you, Terry. Did I call you Terry? I got her from Terry. Thanks again, Terry. Stevie. Stevie, our little box turtle. Another animal we showed up on the stream. This was this is our crested gecko, uh, Dio, that we got from our buddy Riley over at Riley's Reptiles. Link for his channel down in the description. I'm struggling. Oh, and he jumped. <laughs> He's trying to go right now. He jumped a lot on the stream, which was funny. He jumped on the computer. Oh, excuse me. He jumped on the computer several times. He he did lots of lots of fun acrobatics for the camera while we were streaming. So these little guys, if if you know, they're they're jumpy, and they also um. When they lose their tail, they tend to not regenerate it. And we're fortunate this big, beautiful boy has never lost his tail. And, and they've got that little sticky pad right on the end of their tail. It's interesting to me that these, these guys will lose their tail and not get it back because the end of their tail actually has kind of a little, a little pad, just kind of like their feet have those foot pads for climbing. And it seems like they use it so much, it seems crazy that they don't regenerate their tail where something like a western fence lizard will regenerate its tail, even though they don't really use it nearly as much as something like this guy does for, for being arboreal and climbing around. Uh, it's just so interesting to me that, they, that, that, that that's the case, that they lose their tail and it's just kind of gone. We also brought up Margie on our stream. This is Margie, our, our sun glow boa that we got from Joe Consolini uh, years and years ago. This was the girl that, if you guys have been watching the channel since like the very beginning, this is actually, this is actually on Triple B TV on the other channel before we even started this channel. Um, she, when we first got her, she came out of the box, and the first thing she did was shed right in my hands. I remember I used the uh, song Shedding Skin from Pantera as the background music, and I remember getting a lot of comments like, well, I hate this music! I hate the music! And I was like, well, sorry. Deal with it. This, uh, there she is. There she is. She's saying hello. Margie the Sun Glow Boa still doing nice and fantastic here. Yeah, the Scrub Python. We, we believe it or not, brought this out on the stream. This is Frank, our Scrub Python. Our male, patternless Merauke scrub, scrub python. One of the more difficult animals to try and feature on any kind of stream whatsoever because uh, he's just so, they want to climb around on everything. Woo, gotcha. So let's take a look here at Frank's head. If we can get that in frame for just a second. And get him to stop moving for ever so slight moment. Oh, there it is. There it is. Headshot. Oh, okay, it's over. <laughs> Frank. Frank, our, our scrub python, he is fantastic. He was not handleable like this when he was younger. Uh, he was always biting, but here he is, and he's fantastic now, and probably my favorite python species. Just to tell you guys about how I, I would compare the virtual show to a real-life show, I mean, obviously there's the not being there in person, not being able to walk around. I did get to cruise around and check out the show a little bit, left my booth to go check out Garrett's table and, uh, and several other people's tables and just kind of see how it was going. And man, I think once those little kinks get worked out, it's going to be awesome. I will say that it definitely does not replace a real show. There's nothing like being able to go up and, and see all the people you know in person and hang out and give hugs, which I guess is probably going to be a thing that is long awaited and probably not going to be for a long time where people are going to be comfortable to hug again and maybe or maybe ever. Who knows? But God damn it, I'm a hugger and I, I love hugs and... Ah, I am in need of a hug from some strangers. But yeah, so the show's not going to replace real shows, I don't think. I hope not. I don't want it to become the norm. It is cool while we're all, you know, not able to have these large gatherings. It's very cool that we're able to do this, and it was definitely awesome to be able to interact with folks. At a, it is very much like a show setting. I mean, as far as Virtual Reptile Show goes, it's that it felt like a show in that respect, with people walking around, checking out all the different tables and vendors, and stopping by to interact at your table. It was cool. It was very cool. And once they figure out the um, getting rid of that delay in the chat, then it's going to be epic, I think, uh, especially on both ends for the, 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 the participants and the vendors if you guys were at the show please leave a comment down below and let us know how your experience was on the vendor on the um sorry on the patron end attending the show versus being a vendor i'd love to get your guys input and feedback as to how it was what you think could be better what you did actually enjoy about it um, that could be an enhanced in some kind of way and yeah i, I hope you guys enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next one aloha